Hello RE out there, it's Mark with Redo Over, and we're back to Master of Orion 2. This is part two of our introduction to the game. More so than gameplay, we're talking about the different panels, and we had last time just hit accept on our game setup, and we'd gotten to the select races page. So this one is, the one thing that's great about Master of Orion is it's a game you can jump into very quickly, um, and learn as you go, but ultimately there's not a lot of overhead for learning to play. Let's look over our races real quickly though. We have a total of um, the original seven, six, 13, 13 original races, or we can do a custom build. You can't actually play that creature though. It's pretty cool looking. So let's start at the top here. We've got the Alkari. I might do a series of short videos breaking down the capabilities of all of these creatures. But ultimately, down here, you can see in green, the Alkari have Ship Defense, Artifact Homeworld, Dictatorship. So it's a real quick synopsis of what they are. Everything else about them is, is gal galactic average, we'll call it. All right, we have the Bullrathi. Um, we have, they're kind of, again, like sort of a, a high gravity, very physically strong, although ground combat isn't so useful in the game. Darlocks. These are your stealth ship, your espionage, your spies. Shape changers is what the Darlocks are. Shape changers. The Illyrians are a race of warrior women. Um, and women essentially, I don't know if it's genetic, if they're clones, but they dominate their entire world. So they're very, uh, they're telepathic, they're omniscient, they're futile, and they're really good at ship combat. So Actually, a pretty decent little race to play. In particular, the telepathic gives you some very powerful stuff. Nolems. Uh, these are your tax money. They earn the BC, the Galacto credits, as I like to call them. So financially savvy. Humans are charismatic and democratic. These are the, the, the nice folk of the galaxy. But you can play a human if you want. Maybe a little boring. Clacon. They are the super hive mind insectoid creatures. We have the Mechlar. These are cybernetic, uh, technically savvy creatures. Uh, although I guess they're better industrial production and ship repair interfacing with technology more so than science related. We have the Marshan. Uh, these are the furries of the uh, galaxy. They're awesome though. They're actually pretty solid. They're really good at fighting and they um, are warlords, meaning they are good at building up a large fleet and supporting it. Cylon. By the way, you'll notice almost all these species are dictators. I think the only democracy is the humans. Illyrians are feudal. Maybe Clacon are the only unification, meaning the only hive mind. So you you have uh, feudalism, democracy, uh, dictatorship, in unification, four systems of government. But there aren't a lot of examples of the unification, the democracy. And for feudalism, I think there's just a couple. I think maybe the Illyrians and the Sakra. But let's jump back to the Marshan here. So uh, Marshan are just really good ship-to-ship -ship combat fighters. Cylon, these are your science guys. Uh, research, creative, also a dictatorship. <laughs> the little gray men. Sakra, these are the lizard folk. Uh, they are brutish. Uh, I think they're, they're repulsive. Subterranean, they grow very fast. So these are massive reproducers. They can have huge populations. Um, bad at espionage, go figure. The silicoid are a lithovore creature. They grow very slowly, but they don't take food. They are also repulsive, but they're also tolerant, meaning they can overlook things like toxicity of planets uh, in pollution. They just ignore it. So these guys don't need food and they don't worry about pollution. So in that sense, it's almost, they're quite unique in how they play relative to other races because they get to focus on other things quite a bit. And then finally, the Trilarians, Trilarians, the most useless, even in the modern Mass of Orion, these guys are completely useless. <laughs> they, they like aquatic planets and they're trans-dimensional. You're welcome. <laughs> that just means their ships go faster. They never win. They are they're useless. I, I just can't think of a better way to say it. Um, and then finally, we're gonna do custom. We click on the old custom tab here, and ultimately we want to they're forcing us to choose one of the 13 character tiles to become a custom. 
And I'm going to get into that. I always go with Trilorians because I don't want to face the Trilorians because they're useless. They're going to lose anyway, although they are fudge and hideous. But we're going to say that for the next episode, folks. So if you watch, thank you so much. Join me for introduction part three, where we'll get into custom races. You take care.